Okay. Let us get started. All right, so my apologies, technical issues. This is a new day, but I was finishing up the edit and I thought, okay, I want to get some of this uh, on screen. So, so let me, I kind of briefly go over what I've done. Let's see, trying to remember, can't exactly remember where we left off last time. Uh, but basically, I put in a lot of my clips. All together, this should be um, less than five minutes, close to three. Uh, so, so you probably saw my intro. Here is where I'm just putting some text over overlaying onto my B-roll. Some of this, I just, I know with this one, I just took the volume straight out. Other ones, I just let the music play. I don't think I selected the music last time. I have now, but let me, I hope you can hear this. So it's gonna get that There's that kind of hustle and bustle, kind of rush. And uh, it kind of tell a little story, you know, I took a wrong turn, I went to the airport. The music I got from this was from uh, Storyblocks, which is a plugin, a plugin, a plugin that's built into uh, Luma Fusion. So when I go on forward, you'll see me at the airport. You know these little clips. Sometimes, sometimes I sped up the clip, you know, for the sake of time, because uh, again, this is there's not going to be me talking all the time there's going to be real dialogue is at the beginning and at the end of this video so the rest is just you know just listen along um again this video will be out before the one i'm making now again try to put a little humor into my video because that's kind of about waiting 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 still waiting and obviously this isn't my footage but to b-roll and the b-roll was also taken from Storyblocks. Wanted to kind of showcase that because uh, it there's a lot of footage already available, and uh, for right now, you know, I didn't have to. There's a cost. I, I my apologies for skipping that. You could pay monthly or you could pay uh, annually. And forgive me, I don't have those numbers right now. Uh, but I'll put it on the screen so you will know how much you'll be invested in if you did. You don't have to use that. You can use B-roll from other sites, what have you. Uh, but it is a good option to have. Even if you want to just try it out for a month. I, I think it's you know, worth it, but I can't tell you if it's worth it to you. So we're at about two almost 250 and i kind of want to wrap the video up here because it, there's not much to it i took two plane rides to get here the only reason you're making a video is that i'm going to edit my videos uh on luma fusion which is on my chromebook so i wanted to include some b-roll of the plane landing and we got one right here that i already kind of selected you kind of want to hover because where this cursor is is where it's going to land. So give me a minute. All right. So I kind of want to put it right there. Select that uh, little B row. Going to just go down here and put insert clip. Give that some time to finish downloading once it hits my timeline. Should be. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we're golden. I'm gonna back up. I'm not like now we already kind of see some it's not a problem, but I wanted to kind of have like this. See this green uh blow bar here? That's my music. There is no music that's playing on these B-roll clips. 
So once it gets past two, looks like it's 253, it's going to be dead silent. I'm kind of scrolling through this to kind of see, do I want that? And I kind of like it. I do like it. So, and plus, I I did land closer in the PM. So, what I'm going to do, see. See? No, we can't do that. Uh, so, I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. Not too drastically. Red times one. Let's go one point seven five. Let's see how this looks. Wait to that kind of buffers. Let's go to the beginning where there's still music. All right, so it's, it's still going to cut out, but we'll fix that later. And I'm saying that I probably could cut out. I'll, you get his landing, so I'll cut out probably the last 10 seconds. So, so we get here. We like that. And and let's just kind of cut it right there. It, you try click on the clip I want to get rid of. Hit this trash icon, and I got a little bit of gap. I'm not gonna fill it right now. Uh, probably gonna put two clips, my own personal clips. So let me go to media. Which acting up there you go. Media is your own personal uh, clips that you supplied. Let me see. I know this is my outro. This is what's going to be at the end. But I know there was one that I might want to include. It's just me enter actually entering the uh, hotel room. That. Uh, nope. I don't know why it puts these things out of sequence order. I know that's because of Apple. I was using the iPhone for this. All right, so this is man, it's kind of virtual, uh, vertical. I mean, I don't like that I did that. So let's see. Because right now we're at three. Okay. Let me see. That would decide do I really want to use this? Because I'm filming it vertical, which I should have taken that into account. So let me see if I can or should I just flip the thing. Let's see, which I can. Let me see. Do I want to? Do I want to crop it? No. Do I want to? No. All right, so now that we fit it, fill it. How about let me just fit, you know, and I can kind of do it this way. It's a little crooked, and if I really care enough, I can fix it. But let 
And again, I'm going to speed this up a bit because it's not too important. It's just kind of around the store here. Try this load. And again, this is Lua Fusion is going to depend, since it is hardware running on your computer, it is going to depend more on the um, the, the process of power, the RAM, those kind of specifications to run as well. Uh, you could try it on your phone if you don't have the Chromebook available. Try it on your phone and then kind of see what kind of uh, RAM your uh, your phone have. A lot of RAM, a lot of uh, phones have more than a lot of these Chromebooks. So some is Pro here um, coming at you real quick. So this is at the end of my video. Uh, where I edit this on LumaFusion and upload to YouTube. Now, I said at the beginning of my edit on uh, Chromebook journey that I will be transparent with you. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm showing you is what happened. What, I'm, what I didn't show you is the export. I didn't include it just because, and it's kind of boring, and the video was getting kind of long, so I kind of chopped off the last, like, 10 minutes uh, of me editing. Uh, Anyway, I could not actually export the video. I did this multiple times, and I didn't know what was going on. I've had way better experiences with Lumen Fusion before this, and I even tested it on a, another uh, another video, and it exported fine. Uh, couldn't figure out what was wrong with this one. Uh, I have a few elements in it, but none of that seems to matter that much. Um, so it turns out you might, this might not be your situation, but all this footage that I caught, uh, the, the B-roll, aside from one put, uh, one video at the end, most of this is captured on an iPhone. Now I have both an Android and an iPhone. I mostly stick with my Android, which is a, a Pixel 8 Pro. But I use the iPhone, you know, for as a video camera, so I don't have to drain the battery of my main phone. Um, so for some reason, I don't know if this is a recent update, um, the the LumaFusion that is the Android version that I have that I'm using can't seem to render straight um, iOS footage. Uh, iOS cameras, they use a different Kodak. I know this, but I assume LumaFusion would have a workaround. Uh, they do in the iOS. I've tested LumaFusion on the iOS version and have no problem. But I guess seeing that they this is just an unforeseen thing that they just assume that nobody's using an iPhone with a Chromebook. Uh, so that was on somewhat a short side on my part. Uh, I did contact LumaFusion, and while I'm waiting to hear back, I had still had to upload the video and somehow still say it was done by LumaFusion. So if you already noticed that, yes, there is the video is up, but what that is is me playing, because I could play the video fine. Uh, that was just me screen recording uh, the video playing LumaFusion in the preview view and just me chopping up the the beginning and the ends and uploading that. So yes, technically what I show you on YouTube was creating LumaFusion, but I couldn't be couldn't let that video just pass without be, being totally transparent. And that yes, but that is an unrendered video uh that still couldn't render and I just found a workaround uh, upload that, I think, to Canva, then download it again, put it back in LumaFusion, and I was able to render that file. So I had to basically use a, another program to basically uh, change the video codec that the iOS uh, phone uses. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'm going to probably revisit LumaFusion, uh, show you better videos, um, just, you know, FYI. Uh, just so I'm be honest with you guys. Uh, if you want to see more of this kind of content, consider subscribing. Um, 
and like the video and tell me what you guys think and what other editors are you interested in seeing i probably will go back to some of these uh just because i think a lot of them didn't get a fair shake so this sums pro and i'll see you next time god bless